Imagine a king, King Amarasakti of Mahilaropiam, pacing the grand halls of his palace, his brow furrowed in worry. The cause of his distress? His three sons, who despite their royal lineage, lacked the spark of intelligence and wisdom. Desperate for a solution, the king turned to his trusted ministers, and soon, the scholarly Vishnu Sharman entered the royal court. Sharman, famed for his wisdom, accepted the task of educating the princes, not for the king's generous offer of a hundred villages, but for the challenge it presented. And so, armed with the profound wisdom of the Panchatantra, Sharman set about transforming the princes. Now the Panchatantra is no ordinary collection of stories. It weaves together tales within tales, each one brimming with wisdom and life lessons. One such tale is the story of the merchant Vardaman, a man who believed that power lay in wealth. Setting off on a trading journey, he leaves behind a bullock named Sanjivaka, who assumed dead, is abandoned by Vardaman's servants. But Sanjivaka, left to his own devices in the lush jungle, thrives. His joyous bellowing echoes through the forest, reaching the ears of Pingalaka, the Lion King. Fearing a new threat, Pingalaka retreats, leaving his kingdom in a state of unease. Enter Karataka and Damanaka, two jackals, sons of former ministers. Sensing the distress of their king, Damanaka, driven by curiosity, seeks to understand the situation. Karataka, ever cautious, warns his brother with a proverb about a monkey and a wedge in a log. Intrigued, Damanaka asks his brother to elaborate, leading us into the next tale within this tale. Each of these tales laden with wisdom served as a unique teaching tool for Sharman. Through the stories of merchants, bullocks, lions and jackals the king's sons learned invaluable lessons about power, wisdom, caution and curiosity. And so the Panchatantra, a treasury of wisdom, transformed three dull-witted princes into enlightened scholars. It's a testament to the power of storytelling, showing us that wisdom often comes wrapped in the guise of simple tales. So the next time you hear a story, listen closely, who knows what lessons it may hold.